Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we're taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Plastic Trash Bins. Now, these are called many different things. They're called trash cans, wheelie trash cans, wheelie bins. Uh, wheelie bins is an English thing, I think, more than anything. Um, but yeah, multiple different names. Now, quality-wise, and actually, before we begin, I know you're thinking, Jimmy, you're really reviewing some trash cans, some wheelie bins? Yeah, I am, but I'll get around to why in just a moment. Quality-wise, for free, I think these are really, really good. Now, at first glance, they may not look fantastic, but you just have to remember that whatever you're aiming for, things like post-processing can have a, just a significant effect, even just lighting on its own. Quality-wise, I really, really like these, and I think they are really well detailed. Oh. Just, just look how good that looks. And again, um, well, obviously we'll touch on price later on, uh, but as of doing this, they are uh, free, so <laughs> it's really good. Um, good thing as well, the actual lids themselves are movable. So you can actually have something open and close, even the same with the wheels. The wheels are actually their own separate objects as well, which again is really, really good. You don't necessarily have to have the wheels on there, you could just take them off, have a broken one, the wheels over, I don't know, over here somewhere because they've broken off or something, I don't know. But it's always good to see the bins themselves, or any object as it were, just is able to come apart and you can animate anything that is necessary. Quantity, we get four different bins and obviously like I say these bits come apart which is always good. Uh, we get the meshes and obviously it's all done via material so theoretically you could customize this a little bit more and create your own color if you wanted to. You know, just open this up in uh, Photoshop or whatever you guys want to use, change the color and you've got say a purple bin if you wanted one. Folders, really nice and neat, always good to see. Demo scene, obviously we're in the demo scene right now, you guys know I love to see a demo scene. Now, why am I reviewing these bins? Well, I kind of like all these little assets that people seem to forget about. It's all good and well um, going to the asset store and looking for this awesome big level to download and play in and modify, but you always forget the little things in levels, the little details. It's assets like these that are the little details in game development. So if you're creating something, you know, you've got a lab and you just need a yellow wheelie bin, trash can, whatever, you could download this asset and use just this yellow one. If you're creating something in streets and you just need some trash cans in the streets, you got the blue one, the red one, green one, whatever. So it's the details that I like. Now you guys know I am a sucker for post-processing, so let's apply a quick post-processing profile and we can see just how nice these look. And I absolutely love how they look. I really think adding some detail with the post-processing adds to it so much. Let's go to our directional light and just play around. You can see how much they change. They just look kind of creepy now and that's really, really good. So extras, nothing really in the way of extras. You get what you see here. They are just trash cans, bins, whatever you want to call them. And that's good enough for me, really. Obviously, folders neatly laid out. Now, price is free at the time of recording. Uh, I would like to think it would stay free as it does kind of imply it there. But remember, prices do change all the time in the asset store. Some things go free all of a sudden, some things get paid. Uh, if you could pick this up for free, though, it's probably a good idea. Size-wise, it is 40, well, just under 15 mega. That's really, really good. Uh, like I say, if you're aiming for something quite graphically intense, you could probably actually use these to a great degree. They'd probably fit in quite well. And like I say, they are customizable, so you could make a purple one, a black one, a white one if you wanted to. I guess it's all just down to how you want to do it. So you guys know I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And like I say, it's always in the details. And these assets provide the little details that people forget in games, and I would absolutely recommend them. I think these would fit in to so many games. They look great. They're useful. They're just really, really nice assets. And obviously, depending on how you want your game to look, you can make them look as cool as you need them to. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend this asset. I love it. I think it's really good. And to be honest, I think I'm probably going to use these in... Um, well, probably some of my tutorials, probably the Resident Evil one, I think, at some point. Um, maybe in some personal projects as well. 
I don't know what it is about them. I just really, really like the design of these. So have you guys tried this out? Uh, do you have any assets yourself on the asset store? Let me know in the comments below because I would love to check out anything that you've got in the store. And uh, yeah, don't forget to click on subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with every review and every tutorial I upload to my channel about game development because there's always something new to see and new to learn. And guys, thank you very much for watching.